Hi everyone. Hopefully I'm not blocking where the sound comes out, but today I wanted to give you a tour of my craft room. <laughs> my art room, my craft room, my office. It has many, many names. Here's, here's the door to the office. There's Lucy. Hi Lucy. I'm going to try to make this not shaky and not make you guys throw up, but we'll see how it goes. So when you walk in, you can probably see some skulls. I uh, collect skulls, FYI, just so nobody's freaked out. Um, we'll start with my bookcase over here because this has some coloring stuff on it, but not a whole lot. Um, so it's got my books on it. And hopefully the lighting is okay. I've got the windows wide open. But, um, and also, I wanted to film this the way that this office is always because I didn't want to like clean up and make it look pretty because that's not real life. Real life is my office is a mess 125 days of the year. <laughs> no, probably way more than that. So anyway, behind these that need to be hung up, I have some coloring books here. These are like my Lisa Frank coloring books, my like kids coloring books, but I do still love those types of coloring books. This is what I started with before I knew that there was adult coloring books. So I have some of those. Then I also have some empty notebooks here. And then also some books that I plan on making into junk journals because I do that every once in a while. I haven't in a while. And then down here, um, those are my paper pads. And then some more books that I want to turn into junk journals and then some actual junk journals and other journals down there. Okay. Then over here, I'm just going to show you like the outlying stuff and then I'll get into the desk. Right here, I just recently bought this tote. This is for all of my large books, like my Colortronic and my Quirkles, and then my Disney books. Oops, we're upside down. So the only Grand Classiques I'm missing is one and three. And I will get those one day. They're just very expensive. So yeah, bigger books and my Disney books. And then I also have my Pentel Pop uh, gel pens still in their case in there. That works out for me pretty well. On this side of the room, this cart is where it all started. And I call this my art cart. My dear friend who no longer talks to me, um, she gave this to me and this is where I stored all of my art supplies at one point in my life. So we'll start with the top. The top in this little thing, we just have some cards that my grandma and my mom sent me when I was really down and then a whole bunch of empty traveler's notebooks and other notebooks and then some of my stamps just a uh, hodgepodge, really, truly. Then up here, um, I like to keep, um, in here is stamps that I like to keep and then like postage that I've cut off that I won't show because it's got my name and stuff. In this, hello, say hi, Buster. I'm doing a, a tour of my office. What are you doing? You want to hang out? Okay, sorry for the baby baby talk. Um, in here, this also goes back to when I was doing a lot of junk journaling, but I cut up a whole bunch of like different magazine scraps and every, now it's not going to shut. I, uh, every single one is filled with, um, magazine scraps of different sorts. They were at one point sorted. I don't know if they are so much anymore, but this rainbow thing I got from Michael's. I got these Victorian cats stamps from the thrift store. In here I have my Mod Podges and different like distress ink sprays and glitter glues and things of that nature. Tacky glues, turbo tacky, all of that type of stuff. It's a couple of paint 
apple barrel paints in white and black. Then, sorry, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let me move that. We'll go through the drawers fairly quickly. This top one has pens and pencils and Tamagotchis. Look, this is a button of my mom in high school. Hi, mom. She looks like me and my sister. Or we look like her, I guess. Also, sharpeners in there. In this one, we have more adhesives, my miniature hot glue gun, tape, all sorts of glue. In this one, we have more like office supplies. So, a stapler, box cutter, another stapler. You know, you can see. You can see what's going on in here. In here, we have some of my water brush pens, my, um, what are these? Paint brushes, and then my Distress Ink stuff. And then underneath here is, um, watercolor set from Crayola. And then under there is my acrylic paint set that I haven't gotten into in quite a while. In here is some uh like dual dual crayola pencils and then other these are from my childhood do you guys do did any of you have these prang little mini colored pencils I, those are from my childhood um and then i have some crayola twistable crayons and more Crayola twistable crayons, and then these are actual Crayola crayons in there. My sister used that in grade school. A lot of this stuff we've had since we were kids. In here, I just keep my nostalgic, like, 80s and 90s stickers. I've got a whole bunch of them. They are probably never going to be used. <laughs> in this one, I have some planner stickers. Sorry, I know a lot of this stuff isn't technically coloring related, but I do have a lot of other stuff. And then this is all just like extra papers for junk journaling, for making pages, paper scraps and things. And here I have some crayons from when we were kids, again, like literally grade school, and then a whole bunch of... Um, what do they call these? Like die cut stickers that I've purchased from, oh, AliExpress. My back is hurting. Sorry. In here I have more stickers and ribbon back there. In this one, guess what? More stickers. This is more like sticker sheets. And then finally we have my um what do they call this character choo choo cat yeah choo choo cat um stickers and then other cute like kind of japanese flake stickers and then some of my old diamond painting stuff i diamond painted what two paintings and i hated it i was so happy to be done so no more no more diamond painting for aubrey <laughs> And then under here, I have some Lisa Frank stuff. I love Lisa Frank. And these are just like old kits and things that I've had. Notebooks, sticker sheets. Um, this is like a sparkle art activity kit that I've never done. More sticker sheets. And then at the bottom here is this like giant activity pad, which is pretty cool. Lisa Frank stuff. So yeah, I don't know why I keep it under here, but I do probably cause it's flat and it fits under there. So yeah. Also over here I have my my three hole punch 
that never gets used. That's why it's under there. So yeah, I think that's it for the art cart. Next, um, we have this, which I haven't used in a hot minute. Sorry. This is like just become a catch-all right now, but it used to be my lap tray. Um, this is inside of here is a diamond painting that my sister finished for me. It's a Alice in Wonderland Mad Hatter one. Okay, so these are the new markers that you've seen. I had them somewhere else and the cats knocked them over. So they're a gi gigantic mess. A couple of color pages that I took out of an old book. Uh, this is some of my like jewelry making stuff in here. I told you I'm a jack of all trades, didn't I? Here's a Hatchimals um, thing that I got. I need to work in this. Supposedly, it's a mess-free marker, so you all you need is this marker, and it makes the colors on the picture thing. These are some vintage Prisma colors that I found in my um, my stepdad's stuff that he gave me, so that was pretty fun. I got a whole ton of colored pencils. And most of them were like Rose Art and Crayola, but there was these Prismacolors mixed in there. Some of them are Scholars, and some of them are um, not Scholars. Like this one says Barrel Scholar, um, but then uh, most of them say like Sanford Focus. Yeah. Anyway. Then I have some old gel pens in here. Most of them don't work anymore. I have some Christmas lights and the rest of the gel pen set that doesn't really work anymore, but I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, and then, yeah, this is like a lap tray that you can use when you're sitting on the couch, which is what I used to do, but I just use pillows now. I don't know. I don't know. I need to, I'm actually planning I was, I'm filming this video because I was planning on cleaning the office today because I'm cleaning my entire house today. But for some reason I was like, no, let's just show it before you clean it. Let's just, um, I'm getting rid of these two books. So that's why they're under there. Then move this chair. We'll get over to, uh, more coloring related stuff. This is my one of my bookcases. My stepbrother actually made this when he was in high school. And on top here we have my the beginning of my washi tape collection. These are from Michaels. And they pull out like that. It's pretty freaking sweet. So I've got two of those. And then this is also from Michaels. This one's clear. I like to store my pretty washi tapes in there. Not that they're not all pretty, but you know. Oh, also I'll show you my decorations. So this is one wall. I've got a tapestry and then this macrame rainbow thing that I found at the thrift store. And then I love this, this plate. It says, why the don't you write, but it's why the devil don't you write. Isn't that cute? Because I used to be big into journaling. And so it's like, why the devil don't you write? And then an old coworker made this for me. Beautiful. And then this is a recent addition. I made, I took some ornaments from Walmart and I made this little hangy thing. They're just pink and blue unicorns. That goes across the closet. Um, there's nothing art related in this closet that I can think of, so I won't show you what's in the closet. It's just kind of storage. Back to the bookshelf, sorry. So this top shelf starts my coloring books. These are small books because the top shelf is a little bit shorter. So if you know what a Hannah Carl's on book size is, then You'll know that's about the size that fits on that top shelf. Here's just some extra cardstock papers. Now I'm not going to be able to get them back up there. 
Then, sorry, I had to sit down. <laughs> then here's my other um, washi tape holder, clear one. On top, I have some more washi tapes and some sticker books. And then back in here is more sticker books. On this shelf, I have um, used journals or journals that I'm currently using. So like this one here was, I want to say, was it 2018? Oh, 2019 journal for like the first part of the year, I think. Oh, I didn't quite finish that one. Yeah, anyway, that was 2019. Oh, I love this journal. Sorry, I'm getting into it, aren't I? I told my therapist about you. <laughs> love it. This is one of my all-time favorite coloring books by an artist, Carrie Newton. You can find her on Instagram. Sorry. I love these little boxes from Michaels. This one just holds stickers, if I can get it open. Tons and tons more stickers, you guys. It's nuts. Uh, my sticker collection is uh, slightly out of control. Only slightly, though. I love rocks and minerals, so you'll find rocks all over the place. These, in particular, I found um, they're just hunks of quartz. I found them at the quarry, my favorite place on earth. More, um, that's a planner that I refuse to use because it's too pretty. I wrecked this journal from like a billion years ago. Two more um, used up journals. This is like kind of sort of a smash art journal. I don't know. I put stickers in it and I like, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Make collages. So... And then um, these notebooks just hold all sorts of random stuff that no one cares about. I've got another little cute Lisa Frank thing that holds some Lisa Frank stuff. And um, mostly just like cute Lisa Frank stickers. And now I'm pushing it all the way back to the back. This is from my childhood. <laughs> If you guys remember these so fun more stickers some they're like planner stickers just cute stickers in general all right then down here is most of my coloring book collection this guys is a big freaking shelf I've had to move books around because I ran out of space, like, twice. That's why the Disney books are over there now. <laughs> it looks like this book is hiding here. So, yeah. And it goes back even further to where you can't see. Not far, but a few books back. This is the most of my Creative Haven collection. I do have some color by numbers over on my other desk, but yeah, that's, that's my coloring books for the most part. I'm very proud of that collection. Okay. And that's that bookcase. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> up here, I forgot to tell you is where I keep my used up supplies. I'm going to do a video at the end of the year. So yeah. then you get to this desk. This desk mostly doesn't have anything to do with coloring. But there, I've got coloring stuff everywhere, so, I mean, it's got some coloring stuff going on. Here's the decorations on the wall above my computer desk. Um, got some washi tapes. Some, uh, just, you know, you can see stickers. Um, this little thing here houses, guess what? More stickers! <laughs> I have a problem. Uh, this just has like some cute little nickety nackities and a lighter for the candles in here. I've got my Halloween, well, some of my Halloween, new Halloween coloring books stacked up here to work in. 
these two things I just found in the basement. I've, I'm cleaning the basement today. So I found this book that my friend gave me. It's pretty cool. I love taxidermy and bones and stuff. So it's just a book about taxidermy as artwork. And then look at this. This is so funny. Maybe you're not going to think it's funny, but I think it's hilarious. It's a journal. Just blank pages. But it says people to kill on the front, like a people to kill book. That's not really funny, but I think it's sarcastically hilarious. So I apologize. In here, I'm not going to show you too much because there's like passwords and checks and stuff, but it's just like office things. This drawer just has like all my important papers. Um, and this is really the only coloring drawer in this desk. This gigantic organizer houses my Crayola Super Tips, some extra Sharpies, and then some like black writing pens and some gel pens and then also some extra glue and these cool pens that I got a million years ago. If they'll focus, rainbow brush pens. You can take off all the caps and like draw like a rainbow because they're all stuck together. So yeah, a ruler and some tags. Then, this is the main coloring desk, and we're already 21 minutes in. Holy crap. Um, so, yeah. We got a garbage can for garbage. This houses most of my colored pencils in colored order. And this is just, like, kind of the crappier colored pencils. Not crappy. Not crappy. I take that back. Just um, Crayola's, Rose Arts, and the like. Sorry. And then also my pen and gear, um, fine liners, and more colored pencils, and my Crayola twistables like the browns and blacks and grays. So yeah, woohoo! Colored pencils. Then on top of this is where I keep my color swatches of my various alcohol markers. And then I do have the, I can't remember how many, Cali Art Set. That's, I don't have another one of these, like, these holder things. So I just keep them on their sides in here because it's best to keep your markers on their sides from what I've heard. On this side of my desk, I have two shelves and it's, it's going to be really hard to see back here, but I keep my... Jade Summer and Camellia Angel Cova books over here. I keep my Creative Haven Color by Number books over here. Down here, oh my goodness. <laughs> I keep my um, Color by Number, I don't know, you guys know these books, right? Whoa. You guys know these books. You know, these ones. <laughs> and then also my Mystery Colors. Um, down here. Also, this is just an assortment of all my random color by number books. All of them. So this is like the color by number shelf. And then back there is just a notebook with paper, some extra coloring books, and then a happy planner thing. But it's not a planner. It's like just a notebook. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ouch. Top shelf, I just have some like cute things, cute stuff, my name, more cute stuff. As you can see, I'm a mix of cute and creepy and I just can't find a happy medium. <laughs> As you can see, okay, let's get this down. My extremely dusty, extremely large 150 set of Prisma colors is up here unopened in the plastic. I bought these in like, what, 2019? And I just, I can't bring myself to, to open it. In here is like a whole bunch of like cat, cat stuff, like cat stickers, cat clippings, cat papers. I have a cat journal. So that's what that is. <laughs> you guys are like, oh my God, she's absolutely insane. Um, then here we have, um, well, in this is all my, I don't, what is in here? I don't, I don't know. Hang on. 
Oh yes, my extra fine liners. So I've got my Stabilos, my extra Stabilos in here, and then some Microns and some Big Intensity fine liners. I've never used those. Um, they came in this gigantic stationary office set that I bought from Facebook Marketplace a while back. And then here's some of my stickles. Down here is, this is all of my Deborah Muller books. This is a rock that I use as a book thingy. It's painted like a leopard. I love it. Some other stuff. This is my marker, alcohol marker setup for the most part. I've got my Spectrum Noirs, my Stettler Mars Graphic Duos, and then this is my, I think it's 120 set of Ohuhus, and they're in these really, really nice marker holders. I will link those below. I love them. I actually need more, but they're expensive and I'm cheap, <laughs> so I haven't bought more. On my desk is usually what I'm coloring. Uh, this is usually a stack of new books. Um, I'm using these gel pens, so that's what's happening here. This is the 120 set of Conda gel pens. They're nice. I like them. Then, um, as you can see here, this is my tripod setup thing, my lamp. And then this little kind of open nook shelf houses my other stickles and liquid pearls. And then my... Sorry, I gotta be very careful. In here, you can't really see them because it's so glittery, but it's my like grays, blacks, and browns, um, Crayola super tips, and just some like cute things. In this is a bunch of um, like like these stickles are duplicate ones that I just once I use those, you know, then I'll use those or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, no. There went Prismacolors. Oh, no. That is not good. Not good. I will deal with that later. But there's one of my sets of 24 Prismacolors. Yikes. Um, In here, I have another 100 set of Crayola Super Tips. I have, that's my third set now of them. I love them. Um, just like an extra notebook in here is more stickers. You guessed it. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just spilled those Prismas. Um, this is like a Walmart receipt because this was such a good deal. I got three sets of Prismas for $10. These. So this is the 24 set tin and they were on clearance like in 2019 at my Walmart. So $10 per... Prismacolor, like here, you see, I'll show you. On this receipt, I only bought two. Prisma 24, $10. So yeah, I was super excited. So there's two backups. And then the set that's now on the floor is the set that I was using, Rude. Um, so yeah, that's that cabinet. And then, okay. I'm going to sit down. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, there's a cat in my seat. So sorry, Lucy. So sorry. <laughs> down here is just um, kind of like decorational things. That one that says spell book, that is my washi tape swatch book. Um, I've got the antiquarian sticker book that I'm obsessed with. All these pens here are ones that are just about dead that I'm trying to use up. Um, I got that sparkle glitter set of paints back there, pens and scissors and all sorts of stuff that I use often in here. I've got my, oh, I'll just show you. I've got most of my Crayola super tips in here, except the ones that wouldn't fit, which are the ones that I showed you in there, like the skin tones and the grays and the black. Uh, this little cute thing I bought on Etsy and I keep my tabs in it, but isn't that so cute? It's just like a little resin cup. So yeah. Um, yeah, 
just books that I'm either working on or have colored in this month. Um, some pens, gel pens. Lucy, I have to sit down. In this, I have... <laughs> I have extra Sharpies. I have my old camera and charger that I used to use that camera all the time. Um, I just use my phone now. It seems to work. And then I have other random markers, fine liner Sharpies, tabs of all shapes and sizes. Um, the current set of Stabilos that I am using, that other set that was up there is just a um, backup set. And then a whole bunch of crazy art markers. These were on sale too. Two for a dollar, so 50 cents each for a pack, and I thought it was a good deal. So I bought two packs, two packs of the um, kind of like Crayola Super Tip ones, and then two packs of the larger ones. So that's that drawer. And oh yeah, over here, this desk, besides cords, this desk came with like an under the, like it pulls out for a keyboard. But because I don't use a keyboard on this desk, I just took it out. And then, once again, sad, sad prismas. Um, but then in this drawer is like empty cases. Um, and then my set, my extremely neglected coloring items. My set of 72 Artezas that have never been used. <laughs> my, I think these are Ganzai Tambi. Is that? the name maybe it'll tell me no Kurtaki Kurtaki my Kurtaki um watercolors that purchase was inspired by Danny Buttons like multiple years ago like what two years ago maybe and then my 120 oh you can't see my 120 set of castle art again never been touched oh my goodness this one's heavy why it's on the bottom never been touched I really need to use these pencils <laughs> pencils are just oh my goodness so anyway you guys that's it I'm pretty sure that is my this is like the main station of coloring but I wanted to show you the whole office because the whole office has to do with my insane art supply uh, craft hobby that um, is just like at this point out of control slightly. I hope before I move in the next five years that I will have tamed this collection down. I don't want it to grow any further. I just want it to get a little bit more um, manageable. Right guys? More manageable. So anyway... That, oh, and then here is like the window and the cat tree.